Hey everyone, we'll get started here in just a couple of minutes. So we'll start at Okay, everyone, uh, we'll get go ahead and get started here. Uh, just remember to uh, type in the chat box if you have any questions or just go ahead and hit the talk button. For today's session, we won't get into the readings for this week. I mean, I, I know that it's it's Monday, so you, you probably are just opening the readings. So we'll, we'll actually get into that on on Wednesday's session. And I promise that I'll try to uh, basically be able to, to grade all the papers either today or, or tomorrow. So we'll get into more of that uh, as we go on through, through this week. Remember that Friday's sessions are, are just bonus sessions. So we want, I want to finish up a little bit on Robert Cialdini's concepts on this Friday. And, and we'll get into some other things as well as we go on through this semester. But I just wanted to go ahead and highlight some of the excellent papers that came in last night. I apologize for that. My the dogs here are going crazy a little bit. Um, but anyways, though, let's get into some of the papers that came in. Uh, just a couple things. Remember that, so this is Kyra's paper. Really, really excellent paper. And remember that for the title, like she just says right here, my career. Sometimes you don't need an like expansive title. Sometimes this is this is perfectly fine. And uh, just a couple things though. The last name here that you see at the top, that is easily fixed as long as you use Microsoft uh, 365, and it uh, you can definitely put in a um, a running head there. But again, for this first paper, I mean, totally fine. I mean, don't even worry about it. For the next paper that we'll start getting into probably Wednesday or at the very least 
next week a little bit. We'll, we'll get more into how you can use the uh, running head here at the top. But what I want to highlight here is that Kyra does a really nice job of explaining it in her opening paragraph. She asked the question, what exactly is radio and television and why is it important? Remember, you can start off your paper with, with a good question like this because it really kind of hooks in your reader. It makes them become interested in, in your topic that you're gonna, going to be discussing in the rest of the essay. And then she gives a great response here to the question. She says, my reasoning for starting my career in this, in this path is due to how interesting and fun radio and television can be and, and so forth. So really good opening uh, response and a good question there. And then she answers it in the opening paragraph. So just a really excellent job. I thought that, uh, that, and then, I mean, the rest of the rest of it is pretty good. The only thing to just highlight here is that for this first paper, it should be three full pages. So it, she's a little bit short with, with this, but it, again, it, it's not a huge thing, uh, but just, I just wanted to point that out. And then also, let me just show you Kristen's paper which is also really, really good here. Now, I mean, technically to be, to be MLA, you would need to have this double spaced. And I think that Kristen right here has it, uh, it kind of centered, but for, for MLA purposes, you wouldn't want to have it uh, double spaced here. But also though, Good paper, though, because she starts off with, a, again, a good question. Why medical coding and billing? Uh, once again, kind of simple, concise, but it does a good job of kind of setting up the, the, the rest of the paper. And then she also has a really good introductory paragraph here. So I thought that Kristen really did a nice job there. Um, and then also, Marlesha did a really nice job. Once again, I, I, I forgive me if I'm if I'm mispronouncing your name, uh, Marlesha, but she also did a really nice job here, where she starts off with the the basic question essay number one why your major or intended major is important field to get into. So it's kind of a, again, a simplistic title, but it really kind of sets the tone for that. And then she gets into her major here, or her potential major, physical therapy. And she says, the reason why physical therapy is significant to me is because I grew up with the family who works in the health fields. And I want to do some little bit of difference in the health field. Uh, I have a chance of physical therapy. So it, it's a really nice job that Mar Marlesia does here about establishing what her subject is going to be for the rest of the paper and explaining exactly how she feels about that. So I think that uh, Marlesia did a really nice job. And then also, if you look in this essay too, she says physical therapy assistant wasn't my first choice for the major, but she explains why she eventually chose that field. Now, just a couple of things with, with MLA. Remember that right here for MLA, you wanna put was not, that's, not uh, wasn't. Um, for MLA, you want to make sure to avoid contractions unless it's in the possessive. 
So just use in this case was not, not wasn't in, um, for this example. Also, let me just go through a couple of um, other examples here. Uh, okay. Actually, not not this. Let me <laughs> let me pull up another example, and I think this was Ryan's. Uh, or actually, I, I'm I'm sorry. I think this was Kai's essay, and he also did a really nice job here, where he says, "Hello, their reader." And it's it's kind of informal, but I mean, for again, for this first essay, it, it, it's totally fine. So I mean, yeah, I think. Uh, I apologize. This, my dogs are going crazy. Um, but anyway, still, I think that Kai did a really nice job of kind of introducing his topic and explaining exactly what he's going to be talking about in the essay, and then. He also gives some really, really good ex examples of, um, of some of the things that he'll be talking about. Hold on one second. <laughs> I apologize for that. The, the, one of the dogs is, is going a little bit berserk here. I don't know. I think that there are people outside or something. But anyway, still, what Kai does here is saying, hey, I hope I didn't bore you, did I? Your answer is yes, right? And then he does a nice job. It's, uh, again, and then he also provides links to what he's talking about and to evidence to support his opinion and, and, and things like that. And just for MLA purposes, uh, this is, I think, 1.5 space. Remember, for MLA, you want to have it two, two space, double spaced. And also, like right here, if you see my screen here, right here, you wouldn't want to have a running head with, is basically your running head is going to be your, your last name and then the page number here. But once again, for this first paper, this is totally fine. And um, we'll, we'll get into how to format your, your paper for the next one. But I mean, for, for this one, totally fine. And let me just give you a couple more examples here. This is Zachary's paper and also did a really nice job here because you can see here that he starts off the paper with the question, what makes this field important for you? I mean, those were the instructions, but he kind of introduces that concept or those instructions as he begins his first paper. And if you see here, what makes this healthcare field and nursing important to me, the field in, in major uh, means to me a lot personally. And so he does a really nice job of kind of explaining this throughout the rest of the paper. Technically for MLA, like right here, you don't need to have this. Um, you just need to have a running head right up here that would just have your name and then the page number. Uh, th this is maybe something that that Microsoft 365 does automatically, but uh, and, you know uh, we'll get more into that uh, on, on Wednesday and and actually next week as we get into this a little bit. But yeah, technically speaking, yeah, you don't need to have a running head here. It would be a running head on the right side of the screen and uh, just your last name and just a page number there. So yeah, I know that that Microsoft Word, it's, it's a little bit tricky because 
sometimes it'll automatically do stuff like this. And I, I actually know this from, from personal classes that I've had as well. Sometimes it just doesn't always work properly. And I even actually know this from, from a personal class that I had where, where some students uh, that were in my class, I was taking a class, but some students were having issues with uh, Microsoft Word and it just wasn't working properly and they couldn't format it properly, but we'll get more into that starting on Wednesday or in, uh, maybe even next week. But And then also some other examples here. This is Helena's essay and she also did a really nice job. And especially she's talking about, you know, SeaWorld, which, we'll, which we, we, we talked about in last, week's class but uh, she also does a really nice job here and just the the one thing to point out here is that the running head should be on the first page here and also with all the other uh, pages as, as well but if you look at this essay it's a really good job that uh, and she said in her title why majoring in marine biology will save the world. I mean, that grabs your attention right away. So I thought that she, she did a really good job here. And um, I thought I, I heard a, uh, uh, did that, anybody have any questions at this point? I thought I heard the, the chat, uh, or, or the, I'm sorry, the, 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 uh, the open mic but okay maybe not so also though if you look at helena's essay where she has a really good opening paragraph so she says marine bi biology does not only have impact on society it has an impact on the world it is estimated that over two-thirds of marine species remain unknown. Um, by the way, just, uh, just from an essay standpoint, Helena did a really nice job, but from a content standpoint, what, what she says here is completely true. 95% of, of the ocean has yet to be explored. <laughs> that, that, that's very true. In fact, they even say that the biggest mountain range in the entire planet is actually located under the sea. <laughs> it's just that a lot of people haven't really explored it uh, at this point. I mean, hopefully we, we will at some point. But, but anyways, though, she says here, marine biology careers could include dive, operations, reef restoration, and research. And I strongly believe that marine biology majors will be the uprising group to help protect our oceans and the inhabitants. And this is, this is such a, a great point that Helena br brings up because if you look at, at just um, oceans in general, and you look at beaches in general, and I know this because, listen, my, my mom lives in, on Cocoa Beach, and I know that they have rescue efforts to help people, you know, pick up their, the, the trash on the beach. And I know that right, right now it's a little bit difficult with, with COVID, but they do this consistently. And and really what Helena says here is that a uh, marine biologist, I mean, it's just such an important field for protecting animals and protecting the, the beaches and doing things 
that can protect our, our environment just in general. And then she says here, I have uh, worked with animals as long as I can remember. I was a five-year-old um, that close to dress up for <laughs> as a vet for Halloween rather than a Disney princess. So what Helena does in this paper here is that she kind of explains her philosophy and especially how it impacted her personally to go into this field. And remember that one of the goals of our textbook, which is called They Say, I Say, is that you always want to bring your own personal perspective into this. And so she does a really nice job once again. And also she brings in some, some pictures here. And um, I'm just looking at this here. And I mean, this is, wow, this is so cool, Helena. I'm, I'm just looking at this for the first time. I, I, I promise I'll, I'll grade all the papers here later on. But this is so cool that Helena brings up, um, this is a dolphin, of course. And, you know, the, the uh, and by the way, I mean, for the work cited for this paper, this is totally fine. I mean, we'll get into work cited and, and how you would cite these prop, um, in MLA format, but, but this, this is cool. And Helene, I'm just looking at this for the very first time. This is, this is a really cool picture. And I, I, I think that Helena says that she wants to work with beluga whales. I've actually gone um, behind the stage with, with, with SeaWorld and they, they, of course, they have beluga whales. I, it looks like that this is your picture at SeaWorld. Let me just blow this up a little bit. Well, maybe not. I, I'm not sure if that's SeaWorld or not, but that, that's a really cool picture. And another great thing about uh, SeaWorld or, or Animal Kingdom, if you go to Disney and things like that, is, is that uh, you can kind of play with the uh, dolphins a little bit. Uh, I, I actually, I, I bring an umbrella sometimes and you can really, really surprise them and, and they love it. Uh, um, and, but that, that's a really good job that Helena did. And then if we go to another paper here, and I can't remember if this is Ryan's or Kai's paper. I think this is Ryan's paper, but it's a little bit short. Remember that the paper was supposed to be three pages, but nonetheless though, he did a nice job of really kind of laying out his argument here. And then he even asked the question, could I be the next Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> it's a question that I've asked many times. So interesting question that he starts off with the paper with, and it really kind of sets up the, the rest of the paper. So I thought that th th that was a really good um, opening. Also, Shiloh did a nice job of explaining her experience or, or her wish to go into nursing. And she has this correct. The only thing I would point out is that right up here, if you see my, my mouse here, uh, you would actually have your last name there. But Shiloh did a really nice job of kind of explaining her background and her interest in the nursing field. And then she even starts off with a great question. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt helpless and wish you could do something to help? I felt this way to my two-year-old niece. Maya had a seizure in my, in my bed one morning. I stood there frozen and not knowing what to do. So this is an example of where Shiloh can bring her personal experience and explaining 
why she wants to go into nursing and explain, you know, uh, bringing in personal story and really kind of illustrating for the reader why it is important for her. And by the way, I, I know I'm, I'm using a lot of your, your papers as examples, but, but it's, it's meant to be a good thing. Uh, I know that that last semester, somebody didn't want me to use their, their paper, but, but I'm using these things as, as good examples for the rest of the students. So, so don't worry about that. And then once again, so Shiloh does a really nice job in this paper. The only thing to point out though, is that in the reference page, you wanna use what's called hanging indents. What that means is that the first line would be to the left and the other pages would be, or, or the other lines would be kind of tab to the right. Also, a couple other examples here. Okay, so uh, another student wrote why my major is important. And they go into detail here. As a young adult, I believe it especially important. What, so the content here is, is really nice because the student sets up the point of their essay and explaining the reason. Remember that one of the things that your, your textbook talks about, they say, I say, well, that's good. You wanna have a response to what they say, but also explaining why your point or why your argument matters. So the why is just as important as the what and the how necessarily. You wanna make sure to explain why your point is sufficient and why people should care about your arguments or your paper. Uh, a couple other things here. This is from Daniel. And I mean, once again, really good way that he sets this up. Importance of computer science. And let me just get this a little bit bigger, but he says that computers are arguably the, the greatest invention in history. <laughs> By the way, this is, <laughs> uh, I mean, just, just from a paper standpoint, Daniel did a really nice job here, but the content itself is, is very true. Computers are arguably the greatest invention in history. It took less from, and um, by the way, we can later on this semester in one of our bonus sessions get into the, the, the science about computers and uh, specifically, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the movie In Invention Game or um, I, I forget offhand, but we can get more into that. Unfortunately, one of the greatest computer inventors of all time ended up passing away in, in kind of the, like the not best of ways. And he was discriminated against because he turned, he was homosexual. And, um, but the, um, I think the, the movie's called the invention game or, um, but we'll, we'll get more into that a little bit later. But the point though, is that Daniel's paper is, right here is really, really good. He establishes right off, the, uh, right off the bat, importance of computer science. So you know exactly what he's gonna be talking about in this paper. And, and actually, um, in, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, right off the top of my head here. Let me show you something here. There's something called the Turing 
test. And so this is kind of interesting. This was a test that was done in the 1960s or 1970s where Alan Turing, one of the fathers of computer science, they actually did a test where they compared somebody going up against a computer and doing an experiment. And it's, it's one of the, the, the um, we're, uh, really, really interesting things about computer science history. And so you can see here <laughs> that, I mean, there are different things you can look up here. Um, a, a, you know, a certain program, they have actually had people that went up against a computer and then beat the computer. So really, really interesting. And actually, you know what? Um, let me just pull this up. The imitation game is what I was getting at. Um, and so this is, this is the documentary about this great mathematician and great computer scientist that he was able to kind of beat the computer. Unfortunately though, once again, kind of a, a tragic story, but anyways, a very, very Interesting story though, nonetheless. Okay, a couple other things here, just a couple other examples of, of student papers. Remember that this is the paper from the Purdue OWL site, and this kind of goes through all of the rules that you need. I mean, it goes through the spacing, the proper name for the title, and so this is a really good source and you can find this on the Purdue OWL site. I mean, just, just type in, go, go to Google and just type in Purdue OWL and sample paper and you can see this. So good example of a, pa of a MLA paper. It gives you all the rules here. And again, this is a little bit of a longer paper. So obviously <laughs> for, for, for this class, don't worry so much about, about the length here, but it gives you some good guides for what you need to do for, for the paper. Like right here, what you see here, don't worry so much about notes. I don't think that, especially for this class, you won't get into that, although, this will be something that maybe I'll, I'll cover in a few classes, but for this class, you don't have to worry about putting notes or anything like that for, for, for this. And then just a reminder here that for this week, remember you can find the whole calendar on the syllabus. So for this week, we're, we're gonna be covering, covering this, these chapters on Wednesday, but for today, remember that, I know that a lot of you, you know, you, you just submitted your, your paper last night and I, I promise I, I will get through all of these probably later today or next week. And it's been just kind of a busy week. So we'll kind of wrap up for today and we'll, we'll get into these chapters on Wednesday and remember on, on Friday, we'll have a kind of a bonus ses session. It's totally optional. You don't have to necessar necessarily attend. We'll kind of get into Robert Cialdini's 
the the last part of his books and uh we'll kind of wrap it up but at this point though are there any questions i know that again a lot of you were just turning in the papers last night so i know that you're you're probably a little bit swamped but at this point are there any questions Okay, perfect, perfect. And remember, so enjoy the rest of your week. Remember, we'll, we'll meet here again on, on Wednesday and we'll have a bonus session on Friday. And then also, I don't know if anybody is a fan of South Park, but they're gonna be coming out with a new episode Wednesday night so, in an hour long special. So that, that, that'll be a really, really cool thing. And um, so that, 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 that'll be cool. <laughs> so at this point, I'll just kind of wrap it up for, for today. I think that everybody did a nice job just from the, the papers that came in last night and uh, so, some of the ones we, we, we went over today. But I, I, I promise I haven't gotten through all of, all of your papers. So I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to, to do that over the next couple of days. And, um, but I think that a lot of people just did a, an excellent job. Okay, so if there are no more questions, I'll go ahead and wrap this up for, for right now. If you do have any questions, remember to just send me an email. Um, by the way, somebody was asking too about the, like the attendance. Well, l l listen, uh, you can come to any of the sessions like the eight o'clock or the nine, 9.30 or if you want to, to just watch the YouTube version a little bit later. That's totally fine. At this point, I don't think any, like any of the administration, I mean, they, they are, are totally fine with that. So I'll let you know if you have to send me an official like email to say that, oh, well, I checked that out the YouTube. I mean, to, to me, it, it makes absolutely no difference. If you want to attend the eight o'clock or the 930 session, or just check out the YouTube video later. It makes absolutely no difference uh, to me. Um, I mean, the main thing is that these, these classes are here for your benefit. So, I mean, technically you could not attend any of these classes, but I mean, th they're here for your benefit. So I wanna do everything in my power to to help you guys and to answer any questions and to help you in your your future careers. So I know that a lot a lot of professors, even in my own classes that I've taken, I know that some some professors are really not helpful <laughs> necessarily. They don't really care about the students, but of course in this class, I mean I do care about each and every one of you. So, so are there any other um, questions? Just just um, put in the chat box or hit the talk button if, if you have any questions. Okay, well, I will go ahead here and we'll end for today. And we'll meet again here on Wednesday.